Hi guys, it's Gary from G and G Electronics. Um, I've had a couple of emails from guys um, about the UM 3561A siren chip. Um, they were saying that they can't get it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to get the sound out of this chip. Um, here I got a little schematic for you. Right here, this is um, select one, and this one here is uh, select two. Those are your inputs um, to get the siren to change, you know, to change tunes. And uh, I'll show you that as I go through. So all you need is the uh, the IC. You need a couple of resistors, a BD139 transistor, and a speaker. And right here I got a 3.3 uh, lithium battery. So um, I'm just going to go right along here and get it all wired up and uh, we'll make some sounds. So the first thing I want to do is we'll work on this side of the chip is bring two to ground. So pin two. One, two, and here's my ground rail. And then um, I'm going to pop in my transistor. So I've got that all ready. So now I need from pin 3 to the base of the 139 an 8K resistor, um, which I believe is this one right here. And the base, if you're looking at the BD, it's all the way over to the right. So let's go from pin 3 to the base. I think that's in there. Okay. Um, let's go right here and we'll go the emitter has to go to ground. And that's the far left pin to ground. And the collector goes to one side of the speaker. Doesn't matter which side. Positive, negative, doesn't matter. So that's right there in the center. And then the other side of the speaker goes to 3.3 volts. So I'll put that right there. So let's work on this side. Now we need a pull-up resistor between 7 and 8, uh, which is a 82K. Um, I tried 100K, but it, it, just, it was just too silent. I couldn't hear it. Um, so right across there. Um, now we want to pull um, pin 5 to 3.3 volts. And there you go. Now so you got some sound. So now let's play around with uh, different sounds. And that's how you do it between 6 and 1. Um, 1 that only has one different output. You go from 1 to ground. But if you go from 6 to ground and then six to positive, you get different sound. So let's go from one to ground first. Like a caution. So let me switch my jumper over to pin six. Go to ground. And that's positive. Ground, positive. So yeah, works pretty good. Okay, now, that's a little silent. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just build a, a really crude audio amplifier um, just to show you guys how to, you know, you can make this thing a little bit louder. With this here, all you need is a uh, LM386 chip. I got right here on the board already. A um, couple of capacitors and a couple more resistors. So let's get right to it. I'll, again, I'm going to start on this side of the board. So pin 2 to ground. Now this is a different power supply. This is a 12 volt power supply. So basically, guys, what I'm going to do first is I want to, um, I want to you know, combine the two grounds together to the two different supplies. So that's a jumper. I'm just, matter of fact, I'm going to put it down here so it's not in my way. I just bound them right together. So two to ground. So pin two to ground, pin four to ground, 
Alright. And then, right here, I am not going to put in this. I'm finding that that really cuts down the audio quality if you put that 1K in there. So, uh, 3 goes to the audio input, which is the output from... from the UM3561, um, which is pin 3. That's actually the output of this chip is pin 3. All right, so we're going to go from, yeah, let's see, how am I going to do this? If I got it longer. I'm going to get move the speaker over. Where's my jumpers? So I'm just going to... Matter of fact, you no longer need this transistor because you're going through the audio amp. So I'm just going to jump from there. Oh man, it's going to reach. It might just make it. So that's going from pin 3, which is going through a 8K resistor, up to, uh, again, pin 3 of the LM386. Hope I'm not confusing you guys. So this side of the chip is done. Um, so now we need a uh, capacitor, a 1000 micro, 25 volt, going to ground off of pin 7. So let's go to pin 7 to ground. And then we need 12 volts on pin 6. 12 volts positive to pin 6. And then we need a 1,025, again, over here off of pin 5, going to one side of the speaker. So it's there, and then I'm going to give it one side of the speaker. The other side of the speaker goes to ground. Okay, so that should do it. Now I'm going to repower the, the uh, 3561. That's loud. And there you have it, guys. Um, just a, a very simple audio amp. And the other one is the uh, very simple UM3561A. You can just pause your video if you want so you can take a look at that. And that's all there is to it. I'm sure I'm confused the hell out of you guys, but. Um, I'm not too good at this YouTube video stuff, but I wanted to get this out here and uh, show you that the, the chip does work and it's a lot of fun. Alright, thanks guys.